Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing great. So this video is the follow up video to the previous video itself, where you might have started thinking that DP is difficult, but it's time to make longest increasing subsequence easy by discussing the tabulation approach separately, right? Of course, using this kind of concept, the recursion and emotion technique, you can of course convert this to tabulation. But I know for many of you that the technique of recursion and emotion that we discussed, this technique might be a little bit tricky, right? And I am doing, trying to do nothing but trying to make concepts easy. So it's time to make tabulation easy. I'll discuss it separately. Not only uh, it will be like better in space, it will be better in time as well, right? Of course, better than time in recursion. It would be similar time complexity to emotion itself, right? So uh, let us see, right? How can we simplify longest series in subsequence? And let's try to solve this problem itself using tabulation. So without relating it to any, you can say recursive code or memoizive code, I am going to make DP of 1D only, right? So space optimization I've already done. I have made the DP of 1D and now we are going to fill this DP with the longest decreasing subsequence for every index, right? One by one, right? Look at this closely, right? Look at this particular box. What is this box representing? If second element is the last element of the longest decreasing subsequence, what is the best it can do? Of course, if three is the last element, like what is the longest subsequence? You can make a two, three. That is the best you can do, right? This is what we are going to do here. Let us start from the zeroth itself, zeroth index itself. You know, of course, this tabulation is, of course, bottom up approach. So let us try to start from zeroth index. So zeroth index is having a two here. What I will do, I will iterate on all the people who are before me and are smaller than me. And I will say, what is the best out of all of them can do? Is there anyone behind two? No. So the people before two are able to do a best of zero. Correct. They are able to do a best of, so best of zero. So what two will do, it two will stand in front of all these people. I will, you know, not only write this index here, I'll write the values here as well, right? So full focus. So there is no one behind two, two will stand only alone and it will be making a longest series subsequence of one, right? Don't worry if it is don't, not clear, don't worry. We are going to move forward. Look at this five. Five is saying I will act as the last person of longest using subsequence. If I will act as the last person, all the people before me should be smaller, right? Anyone who is just before me should be smaller. So whom can I choose as the person just before me? Can I choose two? Five will say, yes, I can choose two because two is smaller than five. Two, what is the best you are able to do if you are the last person who is saying one? Okay. Is there anybody before two? Like, is there anybody else five has any option to stand in front of? No, right? So five will say, okay, you are my best bet. And I will say that, yes, I will stand in front of two and I will make the longest in subsequence of what two is able to make. Plus, since I am standing in front of whatever two is able to make, I will make a length of two. Correct. I hope it is getting kind of clear to everybody. Look at this three. Look at this three. This three is basically saying, here, if, 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 if I want to st stand as the last person, can I choose five as the person before me? Just before me? No. Five is bigger than three. Yet, how can I choose someone who is bigger than me as, you know, how can I choose someone bigger than me and I can expect to form a longest sequence subsequence, right? Five comma three will not form a longest sequence subsequence. So three will ignore five. Three will now check anybody else. Two, are you smaller than me? Yes. This means that you are a potential candidate who can stand behind me. And being that potential candidate, what is the best you can do to is saying I can form a length of one, which is basically, you know, uh, me alone. Okay. Three will say, okay, I will consider you right now. Okay. So this is my best bet right now. Anybody else before three who is smaller than three? No. So three will say what? Three will simply say that two, I will choose you. I will stand in front of you. So it is making a length of two, right? Whatever two is able to make plus one because three is standing. So length is what we are considered with. If the question, if you don't know about the problem itself, you can of course watch the previous video to, you know, uh, really understand what the problem is saying. But yeah, in this video, we are just discussing the tabulation approach directly. 200, look at this 200. 200 is basically saying, if I am the last person, three, can I stand in front of you? 
yes, three is smaller than 200. So 200 will say, okay, you are my best bet right now. 200 will now ask five, five, can I stand in front of you? Like, can you act as the person before me? 200 is now talking. Can five sit behind 200? Five will say, yes, uh, master, I'll gladly sit behind you because I'm smaller than you. If we both meet, we'll be able to perform a longest in subsequence. But, you know, we are already having a length of two. Why would, you know, 200 choose five now? We are already having this three, no. We are already having it, no. We are already having this length of two. Five is not doing any better than this. So I will say, oh, still I am looking at this three only. Now, 200 will ask the persons before five. So two, can you stand behind me? If I am the last person, can you stand behind me? Two will say gladly, but I am only able to make a length of one. Yeah, why would 200 stand in front of two and make this longest chain in subsequence instead of choosing this three as the you know person before it and making a length of three definitely we are basically trying to do what we are basically and i quote this we are basically trying to choose the best value for any for any ith index we are trying to choose the best value in the dp array for any person for any j which is before i and it is smaller than i so basically 200 is basically searching for any value which is smaller than 200 and it is having the best DP result, right? Don't worry, you'll understand everything. So it has chosen this 2 comma 3. So 200 will say, I will, you know, stand behind this 3 and I will make this longest in subsequence of length 3, right? Look at this 7. 7 will choose what? 7 will say. Now 7 will ignore all the people who are bigger than it because of course 7 wants the people, like just person before me. 7 wants to act as the last person. So person before me, can that be 200? No, 200 is bigger. I will ignore, I will ignore this. Can that be 3? 7 will say, yes, 3 is a potential candidate. It can stand behind me and I can act as the last person. If I can do that, basically, I am trying to say, if I am standing behind 3, like if I am standing after 3, sorry, if I am standing after 3, if 7 is standing after 3, 7 will be making 2 comma 3 comma 7, right, with a length of 3. Is there anybody better than 3? 5, I can stand after 5, but 5 is only making the same length, right, as 2, as, as this 3. Can I stand after 2? Yes, 7 can stand after 2, but 2 is not making any good result. So, 7 will say, okay, I'll not, I'll ignore you as well, because I'm already having a better result, which is 3. 7 will stand after this 3, making 2, 3, 7, and whatever 3 is able to make length, I will add 1 to it, I'll make a 3 here. I hope it is clear to everybody. This is the last case of 101. Let's look at this closely and then we will, you know, wind up with the solution itself. I'll basically now, you know, relate this to a little bit of uh, variables as well. So I can say best of previous, of previous is initially zero. Of previous is initially zero. 101 will say seven, can you, can I stand in front of you? So I will say yes, gladly master. So are you having better result than my best of previous? Yes. So I will update it, this to three. 101 will ask 200. 101 will ask 200. 101 will say, yeah, can you basically stand in front of me? Basically, can you, can I basically stand in front of you? Right. 200 will say, no, my friend, you are smaller than me. How can you stand after me? So I will ignore this. 101 will say, can I stand after three? Yes. But uh, is this better than the best of previous I've found so far? No, two is smaller. 101 will ask five. 5 is also able to make 2. It is not going to update anything. 101 will ask 2. 2 is able to make 1. So it is of course not better than 3. So 101 will say this is the best I have found. And of course, once it is the it is in the good interest of 101 that 101 stands after 7. So 101 will be making 2, 3, 7 and 101. Right. With the length of 4 of course. Right. So I hope it is clear. This information I'm just writing to make you understand the stuff. Basically, we are going to keep a track of the lengths of the stuff, right? And I hope this logic is clear to everybody. Let's quickly write the pseudocode and let's convert it to code only. It is just simple for loop inside for loop. And I hope this is like much more clearer than the previous explanation of recursive and memoization. I know that is a little bit tricky approach and this is a more simpler approach and this is this is going to stay in your head forever, right? So let us quickly see the pseudocode and then move to the coding part itself. So let us write the pseudocode itself. So basically, I will be starting from the 0th index for 
basically for and I'll of course I'll take a dp array of length n right dp array of length n for i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus right every ith index will try to find the best of previous people so integer best of previous is equal to initially 0 now I will check all the people before me for example 7 wants to stand in front of anybody 7 will check all the people before it so for j is equal to i minus 1 j greater than equal to 0 j minus minus correct now if you are if i is standing here now j will first check this then j will travel like this then they will travel like this then we travel right? so we are traveling on all the previous elements we will only consider that index if arr of i if we are bigger than arr of j if we are bigger than the previous value then only i will do what i will consider it for the answer best of previous is equal to max of best of previous comma dp of j dp of the previous person and this is the whole approach in the end dp of i will become what dp of i will become best of previous whatever the previous people can do best of previous plus one because i'm st i'll stand in front of whatever that answer is in the end i'll simply return what the maximum value inside this whole array i'll search for the maximum value inside this whole array i'll return it right of course you can of course do that in the same loop as well but i'll take another loop just for the ease of understanding i'll start from i'll start i from 0 to and i'll go all the way to n and i will basically search for the maximum value of any element in dp of i correct i hope it is clear to everybody let us quickly code this out and then find the video so all right let us quickly see the tabulation approach I, i'll i'm going to code it in here only so public and, and i hope that the things are you know visible to you all you know do it like this so public integer you can say tabulation tabulation integer nums will be passed here and i'll of course pass integer array dp here as well right why not right integer n i'll take nums dot length right and then i'll do what for integer i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus i'll do what every ith index will search for any best of previous before it integer best of previous of previous is equal to 0 initially for integer j is equal to i minus 1 j greater than equal to 0 j minus minus you can start from 0 and all the way to i minus 1 as well i am doing it like that it is up to you best of previous is equal to math dot max of best of previous comma what dp of j whatever that person is able to do the best right in the end i have to set up dp of i and that will be simply best uh, like math dot max of sorry it will be best of of previous plus one right and now i want the maximum value of this whole array so integer maxi is equal to zero for integer i is equal to zero i less than you know of course uh you can say n i plus plus max is equal to math dot max of you can do it in the same loop as well my codes will not be very you know in a single loop i'll not try to do everything in just one line of code right i'll try to expand it as much as possible so that it's easier to understand so you can of course optimize it according to you math dot max of maxi comma and i'll simply say here dp of i in the end i will return this maxi and why are we choosing the maximum element why is the dp of element nth element is not the answer right, let us first you know com complete this and then we'll talk about it of course the time complexity of this code is n square right because of these for loop inside this for loop yes and yeah it is getting accepted of course time is not good because it is it can be much more like it, it, can, it can be optimized much further right and we are going to discuss it in the next video itself but i hope it is clear the only question which is remaining is that why is dp of n is not having the best answer why do we have to take a maximum of all the people and get the best answer let's try to understand that quickly and then bind the video so if you take a look at this test case we were discussing of course the best answer is on dp of n minus 1th index right but what if i say that there is a one here will this one value be able to form any longest series in subsequence it will, it will be able to form zero right of course previous there is no one smaller than one right so the longest string subsequence one is able to make where one is and adding like acting as the last person 
the length will be one only, right? Only one is coming alone. No one is coming behind one because of course one will be the smallest element of this array. So you can see, I, it is not a guarantee that the answer will be the best answer will be on DP of n minus one because in the previous questions we have discussed this, right? In the previous questions, every answer was on like whatever recursive call we were making DP of n, DP of n comma j, something like that, right? But here you have to take the maximum of all the elements and yes, this is the tabulation approach for this problem. Of course, a separate tabulation approach, uh, separate than what we discussed in recursion. I hope this approach is clear to everybody. I hope you are enjoying the videos. And yes, you know, uh, I'm trying to make the you know, best quality as best quality as possible. I'm trying to simplify the stuff as much as possible for you all. Everything in this video is of course pre-calculated and it is designed in such a way so that, you know, it is easier to understand, right? I hope you are enjoying the videos. You are enjoying the content. If you are doing so, share this on your socials, right? In the next video, we are going to see the optimal way of this longest aging subsequence. And my friend, it is a very important problem. You should never, you know, underestimate the powers of longest aging subsequence. It is a very important problem, right? And it comes as many forms, right? We are going to discuss a way, like all the famous problems regarding this longest aging subsequence. I hope you all are enjoying the content. If you are doing so, please share this content on your socials as well. Try to post on LinkedIn, right? Just try to stay active, right? And yeah, so like the video, subscribe the channel. I hope you enjoy the content. In the next video, we are going to see longest days of optimal way. And until the next video, rocks. Bye.